by Max Slavo at Stvplan.com. One of the biggest bits of news on all main media channels is the caravan of illegal immigrants heading toward the United States border with Mexico intending to demand entry into the country. But from this big story comes a heavy dose of irony as Mexico deports 400 marchers for entering Mexico illegally. According to the Daily Wire, when the caravan crossed the Mexican Guatemalan border, the group's leaders praised Mexican officials for stepping aside and allowing them entry. Refugee caravan knocking down borders yesterday in Huaytan. Immigration agents abandoned the post when they knew we were coming. The people celebrated this first little victory. They said on Facebook, Refugee caravan headed to the U.S. getting bigger every day. Refugee caravan headed to the U.S. getting bigger every day. More than 1,500 migrants from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador started a month-long journey last Sunday headed to the United States, where they intend to seek political asylum. Organizers say the refugee caravan includes many women, unaccompanied minors, and entire families who are migrating through Mexico any way they can. The caravan is growing daily as people learn about the group making its way through Mexico. The group claims the caravan is so large that Mexican immigration officials abandoned a checkpoint and the refugee caravan took credit for knocking down borders in Huaytan, Mexico. The refugee caravan says it is made up of migrants who have already decided to flee their countries and who band together unorganized for collective power to maintain their own safety, support each other, and speak up against the abuses and discrimination they face in Mexico and the USA. So the caravan is headed to the US to speak out against abuse and discrimination they plan on suffering here. Like share follow the New Revolution 2 posted by the New Revolution 2 on Saturday. March 31, 2018 Before setting out on the journey, the migrants were organized into groups of 10 to 15 people, and a leader was designated for each group. Five groups were then banded together in what organizers call a sector. While there are organizers from Pueblos Sin Fronteras leading the way, much of the effort to get to the U.S. border is in the hands of the migrants themselves. BuzzFeed But according to CNN, in its statement, the Mexican foreign ministry said the caravan is mainly made up of people from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador and that around 400 caravan participants who did not enter the country of Mexico Oy had been repatriated to their countries of origin with a strict legal framework. Under no circumstance does the government of Mexico promote illegal migration, it said. The ministry said the circumstances of the caravan differed from those of previous years in that the Mexican immigration authorities have proceeded to offer refuge in some cases, as well as other necessary protective measures. The caravan set off on March 25 for a 1,900-mile trek and is expected to hit the U.S.-Mexico border by the end of the week. President Donald Trump hasn't seemed to be impressed with Mexico's attempts to stop the caravan either. But it looks like the laws in our southern neighbor's nation have worked in this instance. The big caravan of people from Honduras, now coming across Mexico and heading to our weak loss border, had better be stopped before it gets there. Cash cow NAFTA is in play, as is foreign aid to Honduras and the countries that allow this to happen. Congress must act now. The big caravan of people from Honduras, now coming across Mexico and heading to our weak loss border had better be stopped before it gets there. Cash cow NAFTA is in play, as is foreign aid to Honduras and the countries that allow this to happen. Congress must act now. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, April 3, 2018 Mexico does not make immigration decisions for the United States or any other nation, the statement went on to say adding that the respective authorities will decide whether to authorize or not the entry of those who are part of the caravan. The Mexican president, Enrique Peña Nieto, did speak regarding NAFTA. He said that he continues to look for a resolution that will benefit the development of the three countries, Mexico, the U.S., and Canada, that are negotiating with NAFTA. By Max Slavo at Stvplan.com God bless. Bruce Johnson Right Wing Tribune Be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.